Hello, Steve. Hello, Jill. It's time to game classy. Number nine, where you play as the black guy. Like, that'll see, be the claim. But that's, but that, see, you're not debating Bayonetta. You're debating... No, it's a fantastic action game. It's one of the best All right, there we go. games made. No, you're not on the microphone. It's it's one of the best action games made. It's got no, a fantastic it's... combo system. Oh, the combo system is awful. It's like math. You're just it's just like mashing so, buttons. There's nothing no, to it. No, it's not. Not if you play skillfully. It's not mashing buttons. That's like, like that's like your that's your excuse for Street Fighter. It's like you just mash buttons. Yeah, if you're a oh, mongoloid child. That's what Pat says you do, by the way. Pat doesn't know anything. <laughs> Pat, Pat threw down the gauntlet when we were at the Ghost yeah. the, the other day. He said eh. that you just you're just a button masher. Eh. He says that you're the guy that would play Vega and get you into the corner and just sweep kick the entire time. I mean, I would do that if that would work. But that would only work against someone, someone really terrible. So, like, Pat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he, he threw down the gauntlet. He was... he was. The best is when I played him in Mortal Kombat 3, because uh, I actually played Mortal Kombat 3 a lot, uh, Ultimate Edition. And I was like, I was like, oh, let's play Mortal Kombat. And, like, we played... We couldn't play one because the, the, one of the player's sticks was broken. Uh, <laughs> we played two. I beat him in two. Uh, and then, we're, uh, but it was close. And then the third one, uh, Ultimate 3, I picked Smoke. And, like, I put in hours on that game. So, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll play. You know, we haven't played Mortal Kombat in a while. And, like, I just totally <laughs> thrashed him. And he's like, you fucking knew this. You set this up. And I was like, I fucking did. I know. <laughs> You're the king of that. I set I, it all um, up for the for the three. Yeah, we, we went on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Bayonetta is super good. It's, it's just a mess of a game. It's, like, it's meth. Well, that's what I said, because they were talking about Smash Brothers. I'm like, S if you want the Smash Brothers experience, take methamphetamines and try and draw all the characters from, from Smash Brothers, and you get the same effect of playing that game. Just, like, swirls and colors and just blah, you, all over you the are, place. You are a sick, sad man. <laughs> a sick, sad man. Uh, and you're complaining I about just, the nostalgia machine while you're wearing a Rampage shirt. I got this at, at um, Gen Con. Like, mm. I want it. Mm, mm. This is from the game Rampage, the, yeah, not the, the not video, video game not Rampage. The, not the video game. This is from the uh, the board game. Oh, that that board game no longer exists. No, it is not named Rampage because they got fucking sued. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Is it? Was it called now? Uh, I don't. It's it's something totally fucking random. It's like it's like mo a Monster Smash or something. It's a, it was a good game. I liked it. Yeah, I know you oh. blow meeples and shit. Yeah, a lot of meeples know. all over the place. I don't support meeples except for the except for the little chef meeple. The that chef. guy was awesome. All right. Um, welcome to Game Classy. So is this is this going to be you refuting Arby's? Uh, from, no, from no, 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 no. I, I am not. It, welcome to Planet Arbitrary. I am your host, Joe, and with me is the Tasha Yard to my Jean-Luc Picard, Steve. That's a... What? <laughs> <laughs> you get killed by an oil monster. No. You didn't know that? I wouldn't run up and get killed by the oil monster. I would just be like, all right, let's leave. <laughs> oh, she gets totally smacked. I would just rewatch that episode. She runs up and the guy's like, yeah. Ah! He's just like, he like lifts his arm up and she just dies. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> well, <laughs> that thing was pretty horrifying, though. It's like oh, a yeah. gross ass glop monster. Armis, the, uh, the, mo the, the embodiment of evil of the Titans. The, the gross ass glop monster. Yeah. So we got a lot of shit to talk about today. Do we? we got our best of the year, worst of the year. We got a lot of big best news. of the year. Everything I like, worst of the year. Everything, everything Joe likes. likes. That's what I figure. That's it. Every the best of the year. Everything I like, worst of the year. Everything Steve likes. Easy enough. Steve's game of the year is Ninja Samurai School Girl Outfit Three, the card game. Um, apparently, it's pretty big in Japan. So there you go. Actually, my game of the year would be uh, Splendor. Splendor? That, yeah, that was the jewel game, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, my game of the year is Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, so there you go. It's not not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, what, was your, what, was, what was your worst of the year? Um, <laughs> Kaijudo. I don't know what that is. Kaijudo is a game that came up from uh, Wizards of the Coast that they like. they tried real hard to make work. Yeah. Uh, it came out originally a long time ago, uh, like 2004 or something, maybe earlier, as a game called Duel Masters. I remember Duel Masters. Yes, Duel Masters from Wizards of the Coast. And uh, Duel Masters carried on in Japan, and it's still running in Japan, uh, but it you know died in uh, the States. And then they tried to re-release it in the States um, as Kaijudo, and uh, yeah, it did not go well. No. No. I think my and they ended up. They actually scum, they scummed it out super hard because they released the they right before they released the last set. They're like, this is the last set. 
before they released it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, really now? Well done. <laughs> well done, sir. So, yeah, they fucking... Yeah. So nobody bought it. Like, they basically killed it before it was released. And they're like, they're like, well, we're Wizards of the Coast, and we already have your money. <laughs> so we don't care. <laughs> As a rolling in magic cards. They, well, they, they uh, sent it. To, they sent it to stores and distributors. They yeah. sent the last. They sent the last Kaijudo set from uh, the to stores and distributors, but they announced it to like the player base before it released. So yeah. everyone had everyone who pay, who needed to pay Wizards had already paid Wizards by that, that by oh, that time. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, that's I thought what you I'm meant saying. like is in they have all of our money from no from no. Magic I meant they, I meant they have all of your Kaijudo money oh, that you're never going to recoop because people sweet, aren't going to buy Kaijudo it. money. Right. And, uh, so uh, someone once asked me like, how do we get it? How do we get this product moving? Like, you know, what are you, what are some strategies you can think of? Uh, and I'm just like, well, I think the first step is our customer base has to stop calling it uh, Kaipudo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, that game, that game is not so good. Definitely, definitely the worst of the year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my, followed up by movie tie-in games or it, just you know what tie-in games. Yeah, my my worst of the year was um, Warhammer: The End Times, but that's kind of like. Picking on the retarded kid in the playground. <laughs> I mean, point. that's your specialty. Yeah. I, well, yeah, pretty much. But the um, it's just so bad. It's like the uh, the idea of just like Assassin's hey. Creed bad or Doctor Who bad. Yeah. Uh, see, you get so you're <laughs> always doing your false equivalencies. <laughs> the um, but yeah, the uh, it, it's okay, just... okay, butt action bad. <laughs> No, but action's a great game. I keep telling you this. Nope. <laughs> you, well, you've never played a it's, single it's his, game, and you historical. never will. It's historical. Yeah. It's not good. It's not good. I actually played um, a historical game the other day. Um, Sounds terrible. Not, 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 a, not a mini game, but a board game. Sounds really bad. It was called A Few Acres of Ventura. Snow. Ventura? Yeah, I like Ventura. Oh, that A uh, Few Acres of Snow was really popular when it came out. Yeah, it's like... It's, it's a dice game, right? It, no, it's... There's a, a lot of dice rolling. There's a lot of dice rolling. Yeah. It's not bad. It's very... I can... I can see why, like, like people who are like real. Oh, it's a Grognard game. Yeah, very. It's very Grognardy. But I could see why people like it, and it, you would actually really like it because it's just pure strategy, and it's like the dice rolling is like almost negligible next to your strategy. I so you would actually really like it, but you'll never touch it with a ten foot pole because it's about Canada. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with Canada. If it was future Canada, I might give it a, give it a go. The year is twenty five fifty. Canada has become the sole world power. Seems reasonable. They <laughs> I mean, they do control all the maple syrup. Resistance, Toronto. They do control all of the maple syrup. They do the the maple syrup reserves. Yeah, my second place game would be Cell Swords. I don't know that one. A game's super good. It's uh, it's very small. It's like a twenty dollar MSRP. Uh, there's thirty cards. You dr draft. You you set twelve cards up. You you take turns drafting from the twelve, and then there's a center tile, and then you put the cards down, and it's like a fellow. You like yeah. flip, but the cards have special rules and numbers on the sides. So like if you have one that's like eight 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 eight, you know when you put it next to one that's a four, you get to flip it because your eight is higher, etc. Uh. And then to flip your eight, you need to have a higher number or a special skill. Like one of them like lets you f skip a tile when you're flipping. So like you go tile, I go tile, then I go like oh this tile, skip this one, flip yours here. Uh, and then there's ones that like can't. There's one that can't be flipped. It is a zero. It just can't be flipped. So it does, it's not strong enough to flip any other tile. But it is impossible for it to be flipped. Uh, and then there's another tile that negates skills of tiles. You I, stick that one. Down, I would have to see this because the way you're describing it, I have something in my head and it looks awful. But I guarantee you, it's much better than the way I'm imagining <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's it's I'm super like, good. Why would you play this? Yeah, it's super good. And then you know, after you place the first twelve, you then. Uh, deal out another 12, draft those, and then take turns placing the next ones. You know what I think is who actually was the winner of the year on all of this? IP lawyers. <laughs> I think they're the winners of this year when it comes to gaming. Um, I think that they just got all of the money and they just laughed at all of us. Well, you got or well, you got you got you got Hex versus Watsy, and then uh, Chapter House GW again. Yep. Uh, well, I, I, then aren't the rest all just GW? <laughs> yeah, it's all just GWs. The GWs. Like guess GWs lawyers are the winners. winners. Yeah. Well, no, actually, yeah, they're the winners. GW's not the winner, but the lawyers. Yeah, are. GW's lawyers are the winners. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Did you see the uh, the IP thing this morning? No. For Aliens v AVP from Protos. Oh really? Their Kickstarter got shut down. Their Kickstarter is fucking three years old. How did it get <laughs> shut down now? Um, someone sent it to us on the Facebook page. It got shut down like at eleven o'clock last night. They were trying to get it through so we wouldn't talk about it on today's podcast. That's my theory, but you know. But <laughs> that Kickstarter is really fucking old. Well, yeah, the, but they still haven't shipped. Oh, uh, okay. So I didn't pledge, so I don't know. So there was, <laughs> you know, neither did I. 
Uh, which is surprising for you because you love aliens. You love doesn't predators. Doesn't matter. Doesn't you love matter. colonial marines. I don't uh... <laughs> the kids like itchy. They like scratchy. That kid over there really likes the muscle guy. <laughs> he like really likes muscle guy. <laughs> Dude's flexing, <laughs> greased up and oily. Uh, I, I don't. Uh... Steve loves aliens. He Again, loves predators. He it, loves Bill Paxton. It's movie tie-in. Yeah. I, unless it's unless it's a legacy tie-in, like Lord of the Rings or Star Wars or Star Trek. Those are the... Those uh, are, those let's, are put the a, let's put a pin in this AVP because I want to talk about Lord of the Rings. Just for like 20 minutes. Let's okay. talk about Lord of the uh, Rings. The 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 movie the, the movie tie-in things. Like, unless it's a legacy tie-in, I, you, have to, you have to convince me very hard that it's worth it. Have you played Shadows of Mordor? Yeah. The game is awesome. Yeah, it's really, really good. It is the best Lord of the Rings video game I've ever yeah, played. Yeah, it's really, really good. <laughs> yeah. uh, it remi- It basically... It's like a better War in the North. I, I have never played, played War in the North. War in the North, War in the North is... Uh, War of the North is an interesting game because it was really, really hyped. Wasn't that an RTS? Uh, no, it's a it's a RPG uh, action style. Like, um, like uh, I'm trying to think of a game that's like it. None are really coming to mind. There, if you ever played any of the action Baldur's Gates, on like okay, yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. where you like you have combos and yeah. you you push buttons to activate skills and you level up. Yeah, it was like that. But the problem with it is the game the game was hyped like really, really highly. So when it came out, uh. I thought I thought it was shit. Like I thought I had heard it was really really bad, but it turns out that the game is not bad. It's just pretty okay or good. Yeah. Uh, but it's not a ten out of ten that it was like hyped as. So yeah. people got mad about it and they're like, Ugh. Well, Shadows of Shadows Mortar is a ten. Shadows of Mortar is fantastic. It's the only game this year that I've played and I was like, holy shit, this was a great game. My Did you problem- play Alien Isolation? Uh, not yet. I, 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 really I got it on the Steam good. sale, but the um, I got it. I, I got it for the PS3. Because I just was like, I need a game before Christmas break so I can play over Christmas break. I have two weeks off. So I, I, I bought it and I was playing. It's the worst on PS3. The graphics are terrible and the load screens take like 50 and like well, yeah, a minute. It's, it's, a, it's a down. That, that's a down port. I, I know. A lot of the games were up ports. So like they were OK on PS3. Yeah. But like now you're starting to see the down ports. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. And so I called up Anthony. I'm like, all right, we're buying my we're buying me a new gaming computer this week. <laughs> and so I went out and bought a new thousand uh, dollar Facebook machine. I built one thousand dollar Facebook machine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but no, so I finally got myself, I updated my old, because I've been running, my computer's from 2005, and I've just been Frankensteining all the parts for it, so I was finally like, alright, I'm just gonna get a whole new thing and start off the bat, and it's actually really nice now. Got That's surprising me, because you strike me as a pretty hardcore console guy. No, I'm not a console guy at all. That's, that's Pat. I'm, I'm, I'm not a video game guy at all. I don't, like, video games to me are just something to waste away some time if I have it. And most of the time, if I have time to... It's funny, because ca- it's totally what tabletop games are. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's exactly it. That's, you know, like, for tabletop games, that's... If I have the time to kill, I'm going to be either painting some models or going to play some games or doing something like that. So video games for me are, like, far down on the list of, of things I like to do. Um... <laughs> But yeah, Shadows of Mordor yeah, was one of those. Video like, games yeah. are way higher for me than anything than any other other crap. It's, well, video games for me, it's just kind of like I don't like playing online because I don't like the people that because you're not good because I don't like playing online game. The people who play online games because they're better than you, so you have no chance. So it's not fun. It's it's just not fun because it's like because you have no chance. Well, yeah, because they all they do is all day long they just spend their time playing these games, and it's like it's fine, it, but I don't. I don't personally want to be the best at this stuff. I just like to have fun. Playing. You'll never be the guy with that attitude. Well, I know I'll never be the guy with that attitude. And uh, most of the online games that they play, like that's why I like Shadows of Mordor because I spent three hours playing the solo campaign, and uh, then they were like, "You have access to this new part of the map." I'm like, "What? What? Huh? There's there's like a whole other part of this game." <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sweet. actually going for a full clear on that game. I. uh I did the first area, yeah, and I did everything. I found all the artifacts. Yeah, that's, that's what I the... did, and that's why it was yeah. like f- four hours later. They were like, "Here's your new area." And yeah, I'm like, "I haven't, I haven't picked what? it up again." I, I had, a, I, I got kind of blown out because like I was really excited for Shadows of Mordor, and I was playing that, and then um, halfway through that, Alien Isolation came out, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm really excited about this game. I'll just, I'll come back to Shadow of Mordor," and then. While I'm playing Alien Isolation, Evil Within came out, and then I did the same fucking thing. So now I sold Evil Within because I hated it, and then uh, <laughs> Alien Isolation and Shadow Mortar I have not finished yet, but I will. Uh, right now I've been playing the, the Telltale games. I got them for Christmas. Oh, the, the, ga- the Game of Thrones one? Uh, and, no, uh, uh, Walking Dead, Walking Dead yeah. and Walking Dead 2, um, and then The Wolf Among Us. 
Isn't is it? But isn't Game of Thrones one of those? Yes, but okay. Game of Thrones is just one episode right now, and I don't play those games when they're in the episode you format. You don't like episodic games? Like no, that, I I get the full the the total game. <laughs> Remember how Pat B doesn't like rating in video games, but he loves the Telltale games. Does he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Remember, he, that's why he won't play Mass Effect because it involves reading. It doesn't. Everything's voice acted <laughs> in Mass Effect. The, I, you're talking to me, all right? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't condone Mass Effect, but everything's voice acted in it. Yeah. And then, uh, did you see, have you seen The Hobbit Part Three yet? I've not. We're uh, how have you not seen that movie yet? Interesting story. Um, <laughs> Went to go see it. Decided no, to masturbate. First, inside. first week. Uh, the wife was sick. Yes. Uh, by the way, Steve barfing, got married. Yay. Barfing, et cetera, being sick. He decided not and to I'm tell like, anybody. And I'm like, let, that's true. I'm like, oh, let's not go to the Hobbit because, you know, you're sick. It won't be fun. You're coughing. You'll have a bad time. And then right about the time the sickness was carry, was getting over, I got fucking sick. <laughs> I didn't I didn't work this entire week. And I very rarely, very, very, very rarely miss work due to sickness. But I had 103 fever. And I was like, I'm going to stay in this. I'm going to sit this one out. So, like, again, like our, our Lord of the Rings, like, window uh, went to nothing. Yeah. So we're going to go this weekend, probably tomorrow, because today is supposed to be oh, it's there's supposed to be a storm today. Oh, yeah. It's, it's pretty bad out. But... Um, so we're probably going to go tomorrow. And then just like, yeah. Let, like... Me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. The movie should not have been its own movie. <laughs> it was. That's what that's what Joe said. Uh, other Joe. Other Better Joe. Joe. Better, Better Joe. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> It was like I was watching it, and I'm just like, why wasn't this just put onto the end of the other movie? <laughs> it was like, oh, this shouldn't have been a third movie. This is kind of a waste. But it was fun. I liked it. A lot of good fight scenes. Made me want to play some War of the Ring. Then I got the, my War the, of the, the Rings. The one good Lord of the Rings game. <laughs> then I pulled out my Lord of the Rings oh, stuff. Games Workshop game, I should say. And I was like, uh, uh, nah, I'm just going to go play Shadows of Mordor instead. <laughs> And then the um, that's how I feel about that's how I feel about miniatures games. It's just like I'm gonna nah, I'm just gonna do something that doesn't require eight hours of painting. <laughs> I like painting. And then my then I get a text this morning at eight a.m. from my uncle saying like, "Do you have the original Lord of the Rings trilogy on, on DVD?" I'm like, "Yes." And he's like, "My uh, you know my son he's he really liked the Hobbit movies and he wants to watch the Lord of the Rings. He's never seen the Lord of the Rings movies. It's kind of borrow yours." I'm like, "Okay." And he goes, and he, my uncle lives in. Uh, fuck Bufu, Indiana, and he's just like, could you just mail them to us? I'll pay the shipping, and I'm just like, hold on a second. Go to Amazon. $6 for the trilogy. Send. I just sent it through you through Amazon. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's really weird. Uh, Is your uncle old? No, he's only like in his mid-40s. Hmm. I mean, well, the, I guess he is in Indiana, so it's true. Indiana is the state where 1976 stopped, <laughs> and and nothing but corn. No, they remains. were like, you know what? 1976, we've achieved. <laughs> this is, life can't possibly get better than 1976 and level America. Yeah, and nothing but corn. Lots and lots of corn. Oh, fuck Indiana. I hate that state. All right, so um, let's talk about some news. We got a couple couple big things coming up. Um, number one. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Wizards has put out their next two uh, books that they're going to be putting out for the D&D. Um, the Adventurer's Handbook and the first book in the Temple of, Ele Temple of Elemental Evil uh, uh, scenario book. I wonder if they're going to keep it as ball-crunching as it's supposed to be. I don't know, but I know they've, they've already pissed off a lot of people because they brought it into Forgotten Realms out of Greyhawk. Well, that was... Who wasn't expecting that? <laughs> People need to stop getting pissed off when they don't use Greyhawk. Nobody fucking likes Greyhawk. And when they do release shit in Greyhawk, the same people who are bitching about it being about it not being Greyhawk will be like, fuck it, Greyhawk, that's stupid. <laughs> Nobody uses Greyhawk. <laughs> that's exactly how it is. But uh, you you are Grey, absolutely Greyhawk right. is Greyhawk is Gygax's fucking rando world that he made up so he could just throw whatever shit he wanted at the fan and let it stick, because it's Greyhawk, it's got everything. It's yeah. like, well, of course it's got of course it's got half wizard demon owl bears. It's Greyhawk. <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking plebeian. Yeah, you fucking plebe. <laughs> Get off of my table. Give me your dice. <laughs> Give me your dice. He just crushes them in his hand. Yeah. You got just shatters them. Just like, <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Throw, throws the throws the fucking shards at you. <laughs> you wouldn't have shards. You wouldn't have Pathfinder if it wasn't for me. Um yeah, so Pathfinder blows. Yeah, oh, whatever. It's fine. It's not fine. Blows. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with Pathfinder. And Searching for your modifiers for three hours is wrong, <laughs> Pathfinder. I was gonna say if if you if you don't mind the the 
where gamers being gamey. The crunch, the crunch in RPGs is not where crunch should be. Well, yeah, I agree. So but, I don't like any of the crunchy but RPGs. But the thing is, is so that stupid. Pathfinder's not really even an RPG anymore. It's a, a board game almost. Right, because there's so much crunch. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Any any game that builds itself as an RPG and then is, then loads itself with a lot of crunch is fucking stupid. Yeah, uh, Pathfinder, you don't need a, a, a dungeon master in, in Pathfinder. You you don't because the guy just basically runs you through a fucking video game and just lets you use your combos on the villains and if you just happen to die you happen to die that's basically pathfinder that's okay you get it. just use a just use an astral diamond and come back yeah and it, exactly there's it's it's a video game is what pathfinder is but yeah they got the adventurer's handbook which is kind of cool i want to poop in your little carrying case and just seal it up <laughs> put that under the table that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah the Ad adventurer's uh handbook which is cool um the, the, you know it's probably not gonna be anything I don't. What the fuck? It's just an adventurous handbook. It'll be interesting to see when it comes out. D and D books. I love D and D books. I love. I love just smelling them. And uh, I think it's like the Angels of the Apocalypse or something is what the first book is called of the Temple. They're not calling it Temple of Elemental Evil, but I'm kind of excited about that. Well, that's poo butts. <sighs> yeah. Well, I think they're calling it like the the over arc, the Temple of Elemental Evil. Mm. Or something like that. I mean, it's an, it's an epic quest. It's like a level 1 to 15 quest. Yeah, you go through the entire thing. Yeah, it's but big, it's only going to be, like, I think they said it's only going to be two books. No, then they're probably cutting the content because I don't think two books are going to be only, Unless they're big books. And well, I yeah, they're, get you they're from big. 1 to 15. I mean, uh, the, the... Are they $50 books? No, they're mm -hmm. only $40 books, but and they're... They're probably not going to be able to get you there. Maybe 1 to 10. Maybe 1, in fi 1 to 5 and then 5 to... Uh, Five to ten. I don't know. It, I, going through the rise of the, the the Tiamat books, you know they they do a really good job. I mean, the Tiamat books are not they're not the be all end all. Like you, I didn't when I finished them. I wasn't like these are this is this is this is fantasy. This would this would make you know J.R.R. Tolkien come in his pants. They're not that good. They're they're good adventures. Wait, what are you talking about? The 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 Tiamat books. Oh right right. The, okay. the dragon whatever I, like i i heard all your other all the th other things you said but i didn't hear what you fucking initially were talking about and i was like what but, but apparently uh, wizards wizards is doing two quest uh two quests per year so they're doing like they'll do the temple of elemental evil now like they're i think the first book's in march and then it's going to be like april or may for the second one and then they're going to do another two by towards the end of but the year but are they going to do legends of the hidden temple no probably not the video stupid. the the, the we game. Need Olmec. yeah <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna say, I want the giant head. Like, and this is what you've won, cleric. Apparently, apparently, a cleric. brand new holy icon. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, an huffy pie. Yeah, an huffy pie. <laughs> brand new huffy pie. Fucking bike. dwarf's like, oh, me lady, a sweet huffy, and he fucking rolls off on his bike. <laughs> yes. Get the streamers going. <laughs> no, and this is awesome. So, but apparently they're gonna be doing like one classic adventure updated, and then one brand new adventure. So per year, that's what they're they're saying. So who knows? Next year it could be uh, uh, Queen of the Spiders or or D uh, Dungeon World. <laughs> Dungeon World. <laughs> The Alice in Wonderland adventure. It'd be fantastic. Maybe they'll do Spelljammer. Oh, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Tell me some more about the Spelljammer, Steve. <laughs> They're going to jam some spells right into your pee hole. Oh, <laughs> they'll be called that ship docking and, and Spelljammer. <laughs> no, that would be sounding if it goes in the pee hole. Oh, it goes, no, but I'm saying it's docking when for Spelljammer because of the boats. Well, that's if the, both of the wieners touch like this well yeah but unless I mean, the it, wiener goes in well the you're, wiener. you're just thinking of mm. of of slang from american slang. i'm talking spell jammer slang oh because it's dot you know like the boat you know like the, the boat goes into the dock because they got the flying boats and spell jammer sword fights sword fights we call that swashbuckling sir <laughs> flapping and flapping <laughs> now you're speaking my language you're just kind of helicopter around <laughs> you know you spin me right around like a baby, half right around. not a full boner just like kind of kind of half there and then you yeah. helicopter it but I'm saying, but I'm saying this is like, and then you're in space. But this is, <laughs> this is the reason why I love Fifth Edition D and D. Why I gave it my Game of the Year because it's just, it's I'm so excited about everything that's coming out for it. Out of all of the releases last year for D and for that, the only thing that pissed me off was Attack Wing, the 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 Dragon Wing, whatever the fuck that game is called. Batwing. <laughs> no, not Batwing. Batwing. That's with that's with the testicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, the the fucking Dragon Attack Wing but. bullshit. That thing pissed me off to no end. Paying that much money for shittily painted figures. Don't you play the Star Wars one? 
No, or I played the Star Trek Star one. Star Trek one, that's the one. But I got rid of it all because I was just like, I was like, "Fuck you and your exclusives." I'm not. Are you upset because you don't have because you don't have DS9? <sighs> but who wouldn't be upset that they didn't have DS9? Mm. Garrick was upset that he didn't it's, have DS9. It's not. It's not. Not ex- Garrick. Who was the who was Gold the Ducat. Gold Ducat was upset. It's, uh, that it's not exclusive. It. Uh, it came I know out. they you came out. Yeah. It looks like what they're. It looks like actually what they're doing is uh, on. It looks like Joffrey's crown from Game of Thrones. Oh, it looks like awesome. you just want to put on. It totally looks like fuck. It's. I huge. am the king of. Nine. And they have a board cube, which is also insanely gigantic. Uh, but one thing that, that if, looks if like you had a choice with, between uh, being Worf and being Garrick, who would you be? Garrick. <laughs> Garrick. No fucking question. <laughs> Worf's awesome. Worf's awesome. But Garrick's a spy. How cool is that? Remember when Worf got married and you got to wear like that weird Prince Joffrey outfit? <laughs> Dude, I wish I could have that outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I want it. You want it? I, want I, it. I wish you, I would. I could see you wearing that. Yeah, but yeah, the Attack Wing, I sold it because I was just like, this is bullshit. I don't want to deal with well, this. Also, you weren't playing it. Come on. I, well, I wasn't playing it that much, as much as I would like to. Come, but. come on. How many games do you play? You play butt action. You don't play any other games. Butt action. Yeah, butt action in uh, D&D. That's about it right now. You're actually, you're actually playing D&D? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Huh? No, I'm, uh, I actually, I got a... I got to run through a couple scenarios with. I have a practice group and a real group. So, you know. <laughs> You're in a practice group. I do. Do you, do you do the? Do you test all your shit in the practice group first so you can fuck it up and then do make sure the things are good for the real group? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, but the um, and I don't I don't play as much as I want to. Trust me, I don't. But because I, I would play D and D or D and D. I play butt action plenty. I'm I'm great with butt action. I got my weekly game. I'm good. But I would like to play D and D far more than I actually play it. But it's like D and D's weird because I don't want to go to like a group meetup and play because I just I I can only play games with people I like. I can't play games with people I don't know or I, that's why I have such issues with tournaments. It's like because I I I feel when you're playing a game if you can't if there's no give for because there's tabletop games are so imprecise with everything, especially mini games. Like, the rules are just, especially if they're British written rules, because the British written rules are just awful, that you just feel there's so much leeway and give with it that if you're not playing it with a person who's going to be like, all right, just let it go, you know, it's going to be shit. And this is why you'll never win the Golden Train Trophy. I will never win the Toot Toot Golden Train Trophy. That's actually, that's a board game. It's different. I know. But I'm saying, like, uh, like playing 40K, the, like... Oh, yeah. Uh, Miniatures games and tournaments are terrible. With Actually, the, the funny thing is, like, the one that is actually precision is War Machine. Yeah, but War Machine's also full of a lot of gotcha combos, and if you don't play War Machine a lot, you will just keep losing to different gotcha combos until you eventually figure it out, and you're like, oh, I see. That's the only. That's then it's whoever gets the gotcha combo first. Well, no, because because once you're aware of it, they don't work anymore. Like that's 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 like you you know it's coming, so you don't fall into it. That's yeah. the problem. Like I have this gotcha combo where I move this one model 24 inches, and if it hits your caster, it's dead. And you don't know I can do that when we first play. So I'm just like, and boop, oh, your guy's dead. And you're like, how the fuck did you do that? And I'm like, well, I use this, 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 and this. And you're like, fuck, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Game's over. Yeah. But then you will remember that. So next time you won't leave your caster open because you'll be like, oh, you can do that 24-inch move. So I'm going to put my caster here. And then I can't do it. So it's not a gotcha anymore. But yeah, like, I mean, until but... you know all of them. It's, yeah, it's not even worth it. Right. But it is precision. That, yeah. That's one oh, yeah. game where I mean, it's straight up like but even still, very precise. But even still, it's like, oh, well, my guy moves eight inches. All well, this piece of terrain right here is sort of in the way here. Do you mind? And they actually the, have insane regulations for their terrain. It's like you have to have felt. Well, at, you, like it can't be like a physical piece. Like it's pretty ridiculous. Well, I, I know, but I'm saying, but like I, anything like that. But Normal if, game store tournaments are not are not adequately equipped to they handle. They're not adequately equipped. <laughs> they're not equipped. adequately equipped to handle. You're not saying it actual, nasally enough. To, actual. You're not pushing up your games. glasses as as you're saying this, which is what you need to be doing. They're just not. <laughs> I mean, if I was a super competitive. <laughs> well, this tournament's not legal <laughs> and precision. I, I wouldn't. I would never uh, try to be competitive like tournament player. Uh, no, unless I was playing like a game like Kings of War or or War Machine. Like, yeah. if you're not doing something like that, where it's like Kings of War is just simple, or War <laughs> Machine where it's very precise, like it's not worth it. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 you're exactly right. And th- but that's what I always feel like when I'm playing with a group of people that I don't know. If they're not going to get like there was, if they're not giving as well as as taking with you know rule stuff like that, it's not fun for me. It's like I. I'd rather have a fun game, like, 
sometimes I'm like winning. I win a game so much but that see, it's not fun sometimes anymore. Sometimes making your opponent not have fun <laughs> by strictly adhering to the rules oh, that's is what, the most fun you can have. That's what I'm going to be at the butt action team tournament. I already told my partner, I said, we are going to be dicks to everyone. <laughs> We're going to go in there having fun and being like, oh, these guys are great to play. And then just being like, um, excuse me, let me see that move again. Let me let me let me see that measurement. <laughs> um, you went a little bit off on Infinite that one. Infinite flame tanks. Are you using In, max fame? Max no flame? flame tanks allowed at the tournament. What the hell? I told you they've been complete. It's like there's like a like a fucking uh, Geneva you know why? convention. You know why? <laughs> fucking butt action. butt action players are a bunch of babies. They can't handle the rules of the game they play. It's true. <laughs> they can't handle the rules. At least your cavatory is just like fucking. Oh yeah, you like that? You're playing with my nipples right now. You like that? You like that? Hey, they can't handle the rules. Hey, uh, you like it that? Uh. <laughs> so that's that. That's the thing. You can bitch about the rules, but you got to play by them. And one last butt action thing. Yesterday, I was like in a bad mood, and then Warlord was like, "Oh, we're releasing this new book for butt action." And I was like, "Oh, sweet!" And it's, it's fucking historical gamer. It's all Eastern Front stuff. And like, here's the exclusive mini that you're getting. This German soldier. And I'm like. Why are you still giving us a German soldier for a Russian, you know, the book's all about Russia. Where's a Russian soldier? And they're like, oh, we're, they actually replied to me and we're like, oh, we're sorry. We're giving you a free figure with your book. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going got- to buy it on Amazon for $12 cheaper. <laughs> you got told. I did. It's funny. I'm like, well, see if you get my money at <laughs> Warlord Games. I mean, if you're buying their product, you they, they got the money. Yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> they they got I, the money. but I'm not going to give them the extra ten dollars that I would get for direct. I'll, I'll scoot through Amazon and tell them to fuck themselves. <laughs> they got the money. Tell tell me, uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, um, that's funny. Even the game you like doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve. <laughs> oh, the Genesis. <laughs> uh, you know what? It, it's going to get AVP. I actually, I'm super excited about that movie. <laughs> Dude, that movie looks so bad on every level. <laughs> Your opinion is irrelevant. Terminator, Salvation. The, that one's really bad. Legit. The one with Christian Bale. That's the one with Christian Bale, right? Yes. That movie's fucking terrible. <laughs> but then again, like it's in the it's in the worst possible time frame. Like the 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 man versus machine time frame is best as backdrop for your present time story. T so, three. The, Rise of the machine. Oh, that one was good. That was one where he punches through the coffin and has the chain gun and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to yeah. punch through the coffin. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's not as good as T two, <laughs> but I, I thought T three was alright. I wonder if the board game And will... the, the, the the chick was really cool. The T X yeah. her like ability control machines. It was really cool. I, I, like I would like it if the board game for for, for the Terminator it's, Genesis. It's not a board game, it's a miniatures game. I would I would like it if the if it was a board game and it had just a giant hole in the center of it and that was the plot hole so if any rule wasn't actually working you could just use the plot hole to make it work plot hole what how can they not bring guns through back through time future guns back through time mm-hmm. exactly it's a plot hole it's not really it's a it's they, a, just, they just can't do it <laughs> they can't do it but like it's a giant robot back can't in do time it. Oh, uh, he's surrounded by a metal flesh. So I guess if they if they made a gun, what if they put the gun inside of him. If, if they put the gun in like a in like a skin caddy, that should work. Oh, big wiener gun, just like a giant dildo. Yeah, <laughs> like a that, big... that should work. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's like, how come they didn't think of that? Or the resistance didn't think of that at least. Giant box of skin guns. I thought the I thought when they were sending him back, I thought it was like a rapid fire succession thing. Like I thought like they like. Where the resistance was like running into the fucking time chamber, like the T eight hundred goes through the resistance, like shoots a bunch of shit, and then send Kyle Reese back. I thought it was like they didn't really have time to prepare. No, you're, I think you're, I think you're you're retconning this a little bit. I'm not retcon. I said I think. I didn't say yeah. it was. No, for no, sure. I'm saying I'm saying like I think you're putting too much thought into something that is I mean... a, it was just a giant plot hole. <laughs> it's like trying to put thought into midichlorians, like. What? <laughs> what? Did you love midichlorians? <laughs> you love midichlorians. You you wrote me like a ten page essay on how good midichlorians were and how much majesty and magic they added to the franchise. It's true, they did. Remember when 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 Qui Gon Jinn measures his midichlorians with a lady shick tra- <laughs> razor? I do. Oh, uh, his midichlorians are off the scale. What are like midichlorians Jedi aids? Can you transfer midichlorians? Jades. Like, <laughs> Jedi aids. Jades. Uh, Actually, but the weird thing is, is Zvezda. Actually- Those are that potato head, that potato head guy from uh, Doctor Who, though. So that's that's kind of rough. 
<laughs> that guy's head looks like a motherfucking potato. Like <laughs> I've never seen a person who looked more like a potato than that guy. Um, he's the bow tie guy, right? Yes, he is. Man, the bow tie it's guy. even more reason to hate him. Yes, the um. The Zvezda actually has the license for the Terminator game. I think from like they did a resistance, a Terminator um, Salvation game, 2010, 2012, was whatever. It the arcade game because that game was fucking sweet. <laughs> yes, no, it was the um, it's a board game, but Zvezda is this Russian. So who even knows if they had license? They're probably like in Russia, you don't need license. We take we take Terminator like we took Ukraine. It's okay. Is what we do. They didn't say they didn't take Ukraine. No, we they didn't. were invited. We were invited. <laughs> they had the vodka. You know, invade well. a little country, crimes against humanity, the usual. <laughs> Why do you sound like Nico from, <laughs> from Grand Theft Auto? I, don't know, I never played hey, that cousin. one. I never played the one. I only really like Grand Theft Auto Five. That, that one was good. Know. I never played Pat's the other one. Still jizzing over the new Grand Theft Auto re- that, release. That's five. Whatever. Yeah, that one was good. I never really played any of the other yeah. ones. But then, uh, but Russia's like, we 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 invade Ukraine and so we eat beluga caviar and drink vodka. He's good. Vodka. Yep. You, sc- you screwed it up. You uh, said vodka. vodka. You vodka. said vodka. You fucked it Sorry. up. Sorry. Sorry. In the in the Russian. <laughs> Vladimir Putin's just sitting there like, why are they talking about me like this? <laughs> You know, Vladimir Putin listens to this podcast. Ah, I see. Yeah. Vlad. I, I, I prefer to think of him as Gorbachev. <laughs> Gorbachev. It's like, where's that thing on your head? Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? You get rid of that thing? You get laser surgery? <laughs> you take the thing off? All right. Um, Good job. It looks all right. Uh, I've oh, seen, yeah. seen a picture of you riding a horse with no shirt on. So, yeah. The, Put a shirt on. So, what's the over-under on the Terminator Kickstarter getting taken down for IP infringement? Well... Uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna pla- I'm gonna it's gonna pass with flying colors. It's gonna be it's gonna be fully funded, and then in about two years it's gonna get taken <laughs> down. <laughs> Much like Aliens vs Predator. Apparently that's the fucking thing. Yeah, I'm gonna make another coffee. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, <sighs> um, the uh, speaking of the Kickstarters, we uh, Monolith is putting out a Conan board game Kickstarter. So long ago before they waves there's already an Atlantis. age of conan board game from fantasy flight and it's really good actually this mo- this one from monolith looks amazing is i don't a, know is it a minis game or is it a board game it's a board game but i mean it has minis to it so at least the minis for it look fucking fantastic yeah. I, I don't know if you're particularly like if you're looking for a conan board game there's already been one that's been out for a long time and it's very good it, so. yeah age of conan is not a, a bad game in the least it's not great by any stretch of the imagination so maybe this will be better i don't know but just at least in terms of the minis this game looks fucking fantastic it's no twilight imperium (laughs) all right so we're on turn what turn are we on 24 25 okay steve's fleet is still in hyperspace (laughs) i'm gonna fucking destroy you in like seven turns (laughs) my fucking plans will come to fruition Oh, uh, he's got a sun sphere. Oh, shit. Yeah, that game's really cool. <laughs> what fuck, I have yet to play it. I will never sell that game until I play it at least once. Yeah, it's good. And play it, but I have to play it by the right rules. Like, I have to, like, we have to understand the rules and play it like that. And then I will sell it. There's, uh, it. Rex is supposed to be good, too. The Final Days of the Empire, which yeah, is a remake of Dune. That's different, though. It's that's, the same universe. Because yeah, it's the same universe, but it's just, yeah, uh, it's, it's a remake the, of It's got Dune. the lion face yeah. dudes. I don't think it has the Turtleman, though. No, t- <laughs> my two turtle the turtle. <laughs> the turtle? The Turtleman. Yeah, the, uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna attack your fleet, but that, yeah, that's based mm-hmm. off Dune, so it's a little different. <laughs> Fear is the mind killer, Steve. Fear is the little death. And sting in those weird blue panties. <laughs> <laughs> the knife, failed Routha. <laughs> God, I love that fucking book. <laughs> I like that movie. And that movie's just that movie's ass. <laughs> so good. It's, the mini series that they did for sci-fi was far better. And was even that, the one that with the was blue eyes. Ass. Well, they both had blue eyes. Oh no, like the one with like where like really like everyone had yeah, the fucking blue eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the one that had um Professor X in it. Oh, that movie's so good. Uh yeah. Um other Kickstarter news. Um they actually Torn Armor put up new uh 3D uh, 3D sculpts. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully they do not lose these three. No. They didn't lose them. Uh, uh, Reaper would have to lose them at this point. Yeah, Reaper doesn't lose the 3D I'm sure Reaper files. Will, I'm sure Reaper will be fine yeah. holding on to the 3D files. Oh, God. Uh, was it Defiance? No. Defiance. Defiance. Yeah, it's oh. Defiance. They still, and like their Kickstarter page is still just sitting there. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just like, ugh. 
There's actually a Facebook group called like We Hate Defiance Games. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of people on. I was like, that's pretty funny. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? But good for them. And actually, I was, I was. I don't know what you're gonna be able to do about it. Probably nothing. 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 You can't. It's defiance. They're too big. Can't take down <laughs> big un- defiance. They're untouchable. They're untouchable. Um, other thing. Uh, <laughs> the giant ninety dollar vermin lord. <laughs> Why? Why are people still buying this shit at this point? I, I like. Eh, fuck. Well, that's the that's the one yeah. thing I'm looking forward to in 2015. If the, we the demise of Games Workshop. No, I, I mean like in 2015 they're probably going to re-release Fantasy. I'm hoping. I'm just going to put it out there that I'm going to be positive on this and say that the new edition of Fantasy will be good. And I'm going to say there's a giant hook sitting in the ocean, and you're looking at this hook, and you're like, hmm. I do remember that being good a long time ago, even though I always complained to other people for their nostalgia. I'm just going to take this hook and jam it right in my asshole and get pulled right onto the shore. It could be good. It could be. Um, I'm very solemnly nodding my head at Joe. Yeah. I haven't heard too many complaints about 8th edition of... Uh, not 8th edition, about 7th edition of 40K. But that's because I don't think that many people are playing it anymore. <laughs> that's, uh, that's also 40k versus fantasy. The 40k players always hate the fantasy players. So they... well, by, no. What I'm saying is, is I haven't heard a lot of of complaints about the new edition. Of well, 40K. Yeah, but the, the games actually like spread out. They're not the same anymore. Yeah. Well, I, I know that. So... I'm just I'm just thinking that maybe who knows? Maybe they could learn their lesson and do something good. I don't know. Learn their lesson. Come on. I just I want to play mast I want to play an army game. One hundred and forty dollars rulebook later, you're gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> Implying that I buy rule books. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, you probably would need to, you know, to play the game. No, no, buy. <gasps> oh my <laughs> goodness, you're going to steal it. I didn't say that. I just said <gasps> you're implying that I buy rule books. <laughs> Bad man. Perhaps I would borrow that from my local library. <laughs> Or sit there and read it at the local game store, word for word. Um, no, the um, I th- I think it, it. I just want to play an army, an army game again, an army game why? against people that have this, that have armies for that army game. But why? Because I want to. I like I like playing fantasy. Mm. I liked it. Mm. And I want to do it again sometime. Mm. And I don't want to pay ninety dollars for a vermin lord, mm. especially when I could get the the forge world one, which looks better for like sixty bucks, even though that's a lot of money for that. Hmm. Hmm. Or the old metal one, which actually still looks pretty fine. Oh, no, that model looks like poo. No way. Yeah, way. Oh, he looks good. The one who's standing is like like that. Yeah, with the staff. What oh, are you look? What are you right. looking forward to the most for 2015, Steven? I don't know. More more huge gaffes from gaming companies. <laughs> more cheating. Rampant cheating. Yeah, more rampant cheating. I'm really looking forward so, to I that. So I mean, like, I think I think that if we had to pick like the winners and losers of 2014. The big winners were cheaters. Cheaters. <laughs> cheaters won a lot. Uh, gaming lawyers. <laughs> gaming lawyers. Yes, those were the big winners. The, the losers. Big the losers were were Games Workshop. People who were cheated on. Yes. Um. Uh, Games Workshop stockholders. Um, yes. <laughs> Kaipudo. Kaipudo. Yeah. Like st- yeah, stuff like that. I think those are big. You know that was, that was actually something surprising about 2014 that we already that we we touched on a little bit. But how come? Pathfinder didn't do any any big moves to try and counter fifth edition. Do you think that it's just like they're like we got people the people who play Pathfinder are already into Pathfinder. What are they gonna do? No, I don't know. That, that's the question I, I mean, what like are they some gonna do? some big release or something like that to what big release could they possibly I don't, have? I'm they not, have I'm they not... have four bestiaries. <laughs> fucking Pathfinder has four fucking bestiaries. They have an advanced players guide, an advanced class guide, an advanced race guide, advanced magic, advanced combat. You know what? They could have uh, released the Pandarians. <laughs> they have those, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're in the advanced race guide, actually. Um, wait, 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 wait. No one told me there were pandas. Yeah. Panda people. Yeah. Will it fit my fursona? Well, if it if your fursona's a panda, then yes. <laughs> if it's not, then no. Then no. You're really bad at this. <laughs> Why don't you just play a dwarf? <laughs> can I... Can, is... <laughs> just just play a dwarf. Well, just so you know, I'm, I'm a... a p- I, I more associate myself with Dwarfkin, so I'm okay. That's, that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's Let's fine. get your character rolled up. <laughs> I don't want to hear about your background. I'm cisgendered Dwarfkin. <laughs> and then I will kill you. <laughs> rocks fall. You're dead. Well, according to this combo, I dodge the rocks and then I kill the GM. Impossible. <laughs> GM Fiat. Your rule doesn't exist. <laughs> GM Fiat. If you try to pull that on some Pathfinder people, they'd be like, I'm out! Uh, 
I would never be caught playing Pathfinder. <laughs> yes, you would. The only way you play Pathfinder is with Pathfinder Society, and that has like extraordinarily strict rules. Yeah. And it also only goes to level 12, I think. Yeah, whatever. So, no, that's really important, because like, the, the higher levels you get in Pathfinder, the more degenerate and stupid the characters are. <laughs> it's more degenerate. So the level 12 is like a very good like high end cap and then uh, DMs have to follow like you get a module and like that's your fucking module like you have to follow it. Um, It's also set up that way like the players won't fight you on it because they want to finish the module because they get to report it and like advance their characters in the Pathfinder society. Yeah. The um, that's the only way to play Pathfinder really is. Yeah. The uh, what was that? Oh, one last thing before we we go into our our D&D game. Um, uh, Arena Rex put out some new models. Sculpts that look fucking amazing. Yeah, Arena Rex is awesome. Uh, you know what, Steve? I'm gonna say it right now. 2015. I'm gonna try Arena Rex this year. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get just a small war band, paint it up. You only need look, like three fucking models. I know, and I'm just, <laughs> I just want to try it out because the game looks so fucking I, good. I, I'm all in on the uh, on the very small games. I think. Uh, I think I'm out of Ar- I think I'm out of army games. I think I'm just done. See, I'm, I still like army games. I'm good with army games. There's just there's there's too much time investment. There's too much setup. They're fucking boring. Like eh. you don't want to play the War of 1812 with me. You don't want to. You don't want to do. You I actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna straight up. I don't even fucking care. I don't even know what the War of 1812 is. Is that <laughs> Prussian? Is that is that Prussians versus <laughs> it's, French? It's the Prussians versus French. Is that it? No. Is it no? no. Is it was the a, French versus it was Americans the... versus British? Where ah, the, where see the, where the Brits See? came up and I didn't fucking know that. That's when we invaded Canada. You know why? It doesn't fucking matter. That's why. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. And again, uh, the Brits came and they they burned down the White House. Take that White House. <laughs> Take that. Hey, you know what? It's back. No, nothing happened. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it's back. Take that, Britain. What are you going to do now? Yeah. Are you going to burn it down again? Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Where's Google Fiber? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. All right. So, uh, Steve, pick a character. Man, I wish the James Franco Prussian War was real. The most charming war in history. It is It is real. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whatever the Under the Mountain blog. He hasn't updated it in forever. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? Uh, I think Andrew McColl made that uh, James Franco Prussian War. I don't know. The thing's the best. Oh man! Finally, I can be the warrior. Another another fantastic Brahm illustration. Warriors, come on, play! That movie's really bad. Oh, it's terrible. I, I, Except I, for that part. Ding, ding, I don't even li- I don't even like the movie on a nostalgic level. Like the Last Starfighter. It's just bad. Last Starfighter is awesome. <laughs> I haven't seen the Last Starfighter in forever, but I love the movie when it's, I was a kid. It, it holds up to me at least. I, the the effects are. are the I non the non CG even the CG effects look good for its time. I period. try not to go back and watch movies I Steve, really like. We've got to go back. Well, Back to the Future's all right. Back bah. in time, I'm bum 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 bum. That's the power of love. Yeah, Back to the Future's fine, but I, I try not to go back to like the like ET. ET's a fucking shitty, it's a terrible movie. movie. It's super bad. Like, bum, bum, really bum, bad. Bum, and I know I liked bum, the movie when bum, I was a kid. Bum, 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 I don't know. I don't bum, think I nostalgia bum, bum, as hard bum, as other bum, people. Bum, I don't either. Um, that's what Last Starfighter I think holds up. I was I got into a fight with a guy about Rocketeer. I think that, that movie's terrible. I love that movie. I think there's everything that about that movie so gorgeous. Bad. Movie's ter- that, that movie has great art design. The movie has great costuming. The uh, the like design, like everything. The, the soundtrack looks is one of the good. best. The soundtrack. soundtrack is very good. Yeah, but the actual movie fails on every level. And it's only because it's not exciting. The pacing oh. is really bad. The acting is mediocre at best. Why doesn't the Rocketeer fight anyone? Why he is he? The guy why in the is blimp. he? The, why is he the Rocketeer for fucking ten minutes of that fucking movie? <laughs> I'll give you that. It's so bad, and it's and that's the thing that makes it bad is the fact that you know how good it could be. Because I've seen the serial King of the Rocket Men, which is amazing. Yeah. I've seen everything that the Rocketeer is based off of and what it wanted to be. And like, fuck. It's got <laughs> Timothy Dalton, the best Bond. I don't know who that is. Yes, you do. He's the best Bond. He was also the villain in uh, um, um, Hot Fuzz. Everyone He's knows the villain that, in Hot Fuzz. Everyone knows that Pierce Brosnan is the best Bond. No way. Timothy nah, Dalton. I'm just kidding. Craig. Uh, Craig, what's his name? Is pretty Craig good. T. Nelson. Craig T. Nelson. Coach. Craig, Craig T. Nelson's a pretty good Bond. I won't say that. <laughs> Daniel Craig, you mean? Yes. Daniel I don't Craig. like Daniel Craig's Bond. I'm not a big fan of him. I think he's too like, he's too like. I'm a pretty guy. I'm a boy. He doesn't have fun in the part. Well, yeah, because it's like you're killing people and it's very dangerous. It's not supposed to be fun. Yeah. That's fucking stupid. I want people to have fun as Bond. But that's stupid. But everyone else has fun as Bond. Why does he have to be yeah, all you know, like, And that's why all the other Bond movies are stupid. 
Um, Except for Goldfinger. That movie's great. Goldfinger. He's the man. The, the man, man with, with the Midas touch. touch. A spider's touch. No. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a Dalton fan. And a lot of people do not like Timothy Dalton. Oh, wait, Timothy you see the Moonraker around? No, that's... Um, oh, I can't remember his name now. Uh, not Sean Connery. Uh, Roger Moore. That's Roger Moore. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because he's no George sucks. Lazenby. That guy sucks. <laughs> Roger Moore. Well, Roger Moore was also like sixty when he started playing Bond. So, all right. So, um, D and D, A D and D, the board game, the okay. trivia game. Okay. Here's your first question. Uh, level one to be conqueror of the universe in all of the Forgotten Realms. Which PC race? What about Greyhawk? <laughs> which PC race has only one special ability? A halflings. B, humans, C, gnomes, or D, elves? Which PC race has only one special ability? Halflings. Dwarves. Dark vision. <laughs> the dwarves aren't even a, 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 a <laughs> choice. Halflings, humans, gnomes, or elves? Hmm. The, wor- the wording is really throwing me off, so I'm just going to say would you like a would you like a, Would you like a 50-50 on this one? Nah, I'm just going to say halflings. You are incorrect. Okay. <laughs> it's humans. All uh, right. They don't have a special ability. Humans do not have special abilities. They only have one special ability. It does not have a, a, a player's handbook, page 23, for reference. <laughs> That's really useful. All right, there's your, there's humans your mulligan. don't have fucking special I'm going to bring abilities. the player handbook so we can double check it on uh, you. It's, All right. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Which PC race... Has the fewest class restrictions. Humans. Dwarves, elves, half-elves, or humans? D, humans. No restrictions. You are correct. They also don't have any fucking special abilities. They're goddamn (laughs) humans. They have nothing. They have one special ability. It's that we are human. (laughs) (laughs) I am a sex machine. All right, number two. What special ability does a doppelganger possess? Uh, Polymorph self? What what does polymorph self means? They transform into any shape they want themselves. Yes. All right. That it's pretty much it. They, it's, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. It can assume the shape of any humanoid between four feet and eight feet high. Uh, oh, they, they they don't have it listed as an actual ability. <laughs> A thief can wear only one type of metal armor. What is it? Chain. Or elven chain. There you go. All right, now you're blowing through these. See, you just always get one tough one, and then you can't. You get you 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 noon in it on the on the easy one. Wait, we just finished number three. We're on number four, or was that number two? No, nope, that was three. Okay, we're on number four. This is where it starts to get a little tough. Humans have only one special ability or characteristic related to their race. What is that ability? They don't have a fucking special. Oh. Oh, it's for it's for dual classing. They don't suffer an XP penalty when they dual class. Multi class. That's what the fuck uh, it is. Uh, not quite. You're close. It does have to do with class, and it doesn't. It has something to do with no restrictions. They have no restrictions for multi classing. It's dual classing. It's like they can go from they can be a warrior and then they can go into a mage and they can be a mage and go into a thief. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, okay. They don't suffer the XP penalties that the uh, elves and the other guys do because the elves have to pick their classes immediately. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a do over on this one. You're so close. It's that they have no class or level restrictions. That's what it is. But they that but see, that that's not a special <laughs> ability. <laughs> it kind of is. I'm not gonna argue. I mean, but I mean, you 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 were close enough that I'm gonna allow a, a redo <laughs> on this one. An- uh, another question. Yeah, because when when you say when they say special ability, that's not a special. ability. Come on, special abilities, dark vision, or <laughs> d- ability to not have to sleep ever like an elf. Okay. Give which, me your sass AD&D trivia game. Which, <laughs> it's sassing you. It, it says, it says right here on the, the card. The fucking sass. It says, player's handbook, page 23, motherfucker. Sass. Same thing. It's the last one. All right. Which character class has the most stringent requirement Paladin. for minimum basic ability Paladin. score? Which ranger? It, which ranger class? <laughs> well, I guess was, you screwed that you up. You are incorrect. It is ranger. Ranger. Player's handbook, page twenty-five. Yeah. Which character class has the most stringent requirements for minimum basic ability score? Ranger. Strength thirteen. Dexterity thirteen. Constitution fourteen. Wisdom fourteen. Oh wait, this is second ed. 
You gotta stop thinking in your in your in your Pathfinder. I was thinking of AD and D because AD and D paladins were like impossible to be. Yeah, I've actually picked up a couple AD and D uh, paladins. You needed like sixteen strength, like eight. eight you need, I think you needed straight up eighteen uh, charisma to be a paladin. Charisma carpenter. You need to fucking be perfect. Uh, star of Buffy and Angel. I thought um, Sarah Michelle Geller was the star. We Buffy. all know Charisma Carpenter was the star. I don't Buffy. know who that is. She was the hot brunette. Who the, who the fuck is that? On, on Angel and Buffy. I didn't watch Angel or Buffy. Well, technically the hot brunette I, on Angel and Buffy was David old, Boreanaz. I'm not a 14 year old girl. <laughs> you were when it came out. No, was not. I was a 12 year old girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. You were a little younger than me. I was gonna say like, how did you not watch Buffy? I, even I watch Buffy on occasion, Mm-mm. and I'm not that big of a Buffy fan. No, no Buffy, no Angel. No Buffy, no Angel. Mm-mm. I actually don't really like the Joss Whedon shows. What about Angels of S.H.I.E.L.D.? That show fucking sucks. You haven't watched like two episodes. I saw the first episode, declared it was total garbage, <laughs> and I don't need to watch it again. The, I the don't give Steve shows a second method. chance. I know you don't. You get one chance to impress me. You I don't. Re- we're out. I really like Agents of Shield. I, I shouldn't say I really like Agents of Shield. Agents of Shield holds my attention for an hour, one hour. Yeah. A plus, week. plus, you were shit talking Agents of Shield too when it was new. Yeah. I mean, it was it's it got like infinitely better after Captain America came out. I do not give second chances. Captain America: The Winter Soldier. You can fuck up after the initial. Like if the first season the was first, good and like, the second season was shitty, we could we could we could salvage that relationship. But if your first like, episode, like with The Walking Dead. Look at the wa- the Walking Dead's a fucking roller coaster of like <laughs> it's like emotions. Like, 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 I this is fucking this. terrible. Why am I watching this? This is one of the worst shows I've ever fucking seen. And then the next season you're like, oh, this is why I watch the show. And then, <laughs> and then next season you're like, it's fucking terrible. Again. It was kind of it was kind of funny because I like Dexter. I, I I don't like Dexter. Um, it was kind of funny because you I, know what? Sometimes I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I was a. Uh, I like following the end of the year stuff, like seeing like what are the best scripted TV shows of the year, what's the best movies of the year, and w- I was very surprised at how Walking Dead is like high up on people's lists this year. I guess I mean, this year was like really good. This year also, this year was only Game of Thrones and Walking Dead. There were no other shows. Mad Men's off. Uh, True Detective. Oh, was True Detective this year? Yeah, oh, and oh. Mad Men was on this year too. Is it? Oh, yeah. I thought Mad Men's over. No, oh, Breaking Bad's over. Breaking Bad ended this year. Okay, Breaking Bad's over. Right. Yeah. Um, that yeah, was True Detective's yeah. really good. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm saying. It's I'm, like there was. I a... don't. You know, I'm just doing it because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's time is a flat circle. I, you know, I, I always play. From... I always play D and D. I just like it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if people in like foreign countries when they listen to this if. Like when they try to do American accents, like do the American accent like this. I mean, that is technically an American accent. It's well, I mean, a Southern it is. American it's accent. A, yeah, that's like a Texas accent. Right? Nine hundred dollar dues. You got a kick out of that one, didn't you? It was good. I saw that. And I was like, ah, that's great. <laughs> I guess the Australians really like that too. Yeah, we have a sizable, uh, we have a sizable listening audience in Australia. Australians seem like they have a lot of ability to handle jives in their direction. Yeah, it's true. They're like it's the, probably because their country is so fucking deadly. <laughs> well, I think it's also because they're like the Texas of the the Commonwealth. I think. Do they run around shooting guns into the air and being racially ins- insensitive? From everything I know about Australia, yes. Oh, all right. Maybe enough. maybe they throw boomerangs yeah, up in the air. They just throw boomerangs. <laughs> it's kind of like hell. Don't worry, mate. Oh, I got it. <laughs> then he tries to catch it. His fingers get cut off. Oh, blimey. <laughs> it's kind of like how Alberta is like the Texas of Canada. Alberto? Yeah, Alberto. Yeah, that's I've, that's what I've learned throughout my... my and I believe you in yeah. Canada. 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 But yeah, so yeah, Australia. Australia was pretty... Uh, I think it's just Australia likes being mentioned. They're like, we're here too! <laughs> On the bottom of the world! Mm. It's, apparently it's very hot there right now. It's Isn't like it something like... There? No, it's like because it's their summer and their summer is like supposedly like blisteringly hot this year. I don't. I, I fucking. I know almost. I, I like. I know a lot about entomology and biology. I can tell you about bugs, but geography, history. I'm Ge- out. Geography. It's like I'm Africa. Out. That's like in uh, South Carolina, right? Well, I mean, obviously the basic <laughs> shit. I'm not. A, I'm not a complete invalid, but like, I don't know. Australia. Australia seems to be like a place that's just always hot. Like that. Like their winter is like sixty. <laughs> well, their winter is our winter is their summer. Their summer is our winter. No, no, no. Not not timing, but like when when it is winter time there, it's like sixty degrees, and they're like, Yay! oh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. I gotta wrap myself with the wallaby. Yeah. I mean, I might be wrong, but I that's what I thought. Like I thought Australia is just one of those places that's always sunny all year round. It's like a coast. It's like a coast. 
coastal city, you know. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah. Win- so winter's like sixty degrees. Yeah. But it's, it's not it's not too bad. It's not like New Zealand. But then when it gets hot, it's fucking insanely hot. Yeah. Well, they're also a giant. New Zealand's really temperate. They're they're a giant desert. They're, welcome to talking about geography with Joe. New, and Steve. New Zealand's super temperate. It's like they like it just kind of rains there sometimes. <laughs> I think they get snow. A, I've a little seen bit. the Lord of the Rings movies. I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's really nice. Except- Cover the tracks with ice and snow. Protect them from the deadly narrat. <laughs> it's a uh, it's supposed it's really nice there most of the time, except for that one place that's Mordor. And that place is all like hot and parched and filled with bugs that flies because one does not simply walk into Mordor. You know what? For the longest time, I thought you were the the Sam to my Frodo, but you're not. You fucking Boromir, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bore me. What's that from? It's from, I think it's from the interview. I just saw a clip of it. It's just like, he's like, you fucking Boromir, man. And he's like, I don't know who that is. I don't know who Boromir is. That's such a fucking Boromir thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Boromir. That's the thing that actually I like about Shadows of Mordor is the ranger, the guy you're playing, the the, the faceless guy who's just like, I hate everyone. He actually has that, like, that uh, Yorkshire accent of, uh, of the Sean Bean. Yeah. Which makes me laugh because I'm like, ah, Sean Bean. I love Sean Bean. I love Sean Bean and everything he does. There's 50 shillings on the drum for volunteers to come. Oh. It's, you're trying to do sharp again? Come and face the foe today over yeah. the hills and far away. Yeah, I know. I, I always, I'm always like, you know what? I'm going to get it right this time. And every time I try to do it, I fuck it up. Yeah, you do. I was a, I was a, I'm, I'm, I was a big Horatio Hornblower fan more than, more than sharp. So. I don't even know who that is. It's just a boat show. Boat so show, the boat show. It's kind of like, ma- like the boat show, like yes, it comes around yeah, here. No, it's, it's more like more like Master and Commander. Oh, yeah, because uh, I get, love fucking for, Master and Commander. For, for all of our non-local <laughs> listeners, there's a uh, annual boat show that comes to the Chicagoland area every year, and it's been playing the same commercial for about twenty years. And the commercial is the boat show, the boat show. I thought you were talking about the Wizard World. Nope. That's is that the Chicago Straight boat show? Talking about the boat show. <laughs> because uh, that has more to do with boats than it does with comics nowadays. Boat show. Whatever, Wizard World blows. Do convention, conve- you know what? Fuck conventions. No, I love C2E2. Yeah. Uh, C2E2, uh, Adepticon. C2E2 is uh, new. So it's too, it's, it's got, a, it's got its grace period. I met the immortal George R. R. Martin at C2E2. Did so. he punch you in the dick and slap you in the mouth like he should? <laughs> no. Oh, we man. talked about mini toy soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Um, it was one of my happiest days of my life. It was like that and meeting Adam Savage in an elevator in Vegas. Um, did he, did he, did he uh, hit you up with some bad science? He did. He actually hit me in the balls and slapped me in the mouth. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So he gave you the George R. R. treatment. He gave me the George R. R. treatment. <laughs> no, okay, but see, that c 2 is still new, so it yeah. still gets away with, like, being okay. Because, like, they still have bootlegs, and, like, they still have some of the seediness. They don't, they don't really have bootlegs at seed. Bootlegs are... You, you, you missed got, it, you, baby. Well, you gotta, you gotta really look for it. You, you gotta... All you need to do is you need to find it, because they're, they're sandwiched between the anime booths. Because you just look yeah. for the Daikamuras... The naked and the, the jizz statues, the Daikamuras, and uh, the hentai. You look for that, then you go to the right of it, and you'll see that there's another one with Daikamuras, hentai, and jizz statues. But if you look in between, there's some dude who's sitting with like milk crates full of sweet, sweet joy. But what kind of bootlegs do you go there for? Like, are you talking TV show bootlegs? Yeah, usually. Like, but like, why would you buy it there when you could just download it online? Uh, I usually like the I like. I like the, the bandwidth tact- issues. <laughs> well, no, I like the I like the tactile part. I like putting uh, in the discs. Like I think that's you know that's part of the part, fun for me. The ex- yeah. Also, and you yell at me for vinyl. It's the same exact thing. It is not a, bu- a blara or a DVD is not the same as a fucking vinyl record. Yeah, it is. It's the same tactile response. No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay, okay, not at all. All right. Not even remotely close. Okay, I'll give it to you. One I'll, is I'll, completely I'll, I'll, outdated technology from the '60s. The other is still pretty new. The '60s. Come on. I don't know when the f- whatever fucking who gives a shit the records you, you know nothing you know nothing Jon Snow records are garbage <laughs> of course I know how to use it <laughs> um, no fucking uh, also finding things in one solid chunk is actually pretty difficult when you're talking like big shows or really old shows yeah I mean like it depends like on the real Ghostbusters that shit's impossible oh, to find by itself why would you want that like there's like maybe like three or four good episodes. Just get the. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. And they got the Batman animated series. Yeah, that that one's actually. Um, uh, it's, it's, that one's on DVD right now, but it's probably out of print. It's and it's also not complete. Oh no! I don't think they ever actually finished it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it is it is definitely out of print. But I don't think they finished it. I don't care. I watch Brave um, and the Bold. 
Brave and Bold's good. Just like so in it's on Netflix. Yeah, I know. I, I watched that one with with my daughter. Brave and Bold's good. I'm like, I I know the guy who voiced Batman. <laughs> Diedrich Bader? No, John Vanderbadge. Diedrich Bader is the oh yes, Vanderbadge. <laughs> Vanderbadge. John Vanderbadge. I didn't realize he had a first name. I thought it was just Vanderbadge. Oh okay. Yes. Damn. I thought it was John Vanderbadge. I, I could be mistaken. I thought it was just Vanderbadge, but what else? Uh, yeah. yeah, no, no, that, no. I, I that's good because I when I back way in the day when we used to go to the Wizard World back when it was like Wizard Comics ran it and it was Chicago Comic Con Wizard World presents Chicago Comic Con we'd go there and it would just like be bootlegs upon bootlegs but that's where you could find like first run movies like we'd go there and find like Attack of the Clones and shit like that oh I find uh I find foreign movies there too well yeah but but I mean it's like nowadays it's like well why even bother okay. oh uh that you know the movie um uh Hero the Jelly Movie Hero Jelly Movie Hero it's called Hero uh it's about his like he's in feudal China and like the ending scene he's like fight he's fighting that, like a million billion archers is that where jackie chan fights um Jet Li, not jackie chan is that where jackie chan fights chuck norris yes no yes. no he's he's fighting a, a john cusack as a gladiator <laughs> it's the roman have you seen the preview for that i movie? did that's the weirdest this, thing i've ever seen <laughs> it looks so good i can't wait to watch it's it it's called like sword of heaven or something something weird like yeah, that it's like that's like a straight up just like chinese movie yeah with a bunch of american actors, actors in it. In it. i can't yeah. wait to see yeah, it it looks cool yeah but no uh, i love bollywood movies they're gotta, so bad it's not bollywood it's no chinese. but i mean I, I love just foreign movies like bollywood chinese oh. like especially when they get american actors for it it's just so great to watch um why am I watching a three-hour movie about dancing and singing? That is a Bollywood film. <laughs> and then there's always like, they're, they're the, the Bollywood Let's see Terminator. how racist we could get with Bollywood bo- movies. I don't know. That's not. That, I don't know. I don't think doing that is actually. Maybe it's racist because we're white. But I don't think it's at, the intention is not to be racist. No, the intention is not to be racist. Because that's legit what it is. It's <laughs> like. like that's not that's not making fun of it. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. That's the sound and the music of a lot yeah. of Bollywood movies. Yeah. Like always. And they had that uh the thing that's like a flute, but it's got the ball on the end of it. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I can't make the, the sit- noise. The sitar playing the in the background. And yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Their 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 Matrix slash Terminator movie is the most out of control film I've ever <laughs> I know, seen. I know which one you're talking about. It's ridiculous. It's where that like like the short fat Indian guy like multiplies like a thousand yes, times. Yeah, yeah and, and they the link up yeah. and they roll around as a ball. <laughs> yeah, and then he also punches the bus and the bus goes over him and then he like jumps in the air and like punches a bunch of cars into, into dust. Well, there's the famous one where the guy's riding the horse and then he slides the horse underneath the bus. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then uh, he, the, yeah, I believe he jumps off of a, a building into a helicopter, helicopter and grabs the helicopter, the helicopter and, and throws it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, it's good times. I'm glad we we spent the last like ten minutes of this, point, like fifteen minutes. We're just like, fuck it. We'll talk about movies. Yeah. The um, I just we I just watched Gravity last night for the first time. Um, That's the Sandra Bullock one. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I was just like throughout the entire thing, I was just like, this is the reason I'm not going into outer space ever. <laughs> I am not an outer space guy. I'm I'm all in on outer space. Yeah. Well, but, you, you do well. But I'm all in on outer space when it's not shitty. <laughs> when it's not shitty. Yeah. So like. Like if we, you're on a star destroyer, yeah, we need, be a, okay. we need a spaceship. Like if you're if you're like on a, on a uh, like the, the Galactica or something, no, you're the, okay. The, the, yeah, the rule of thumb is like I'm not going out in a gigantic spacesuit where I'm like can't move. I can't put my arms down. Yeah, you're yeah. Going, you want to go in. out on the like, battleship <laughs> Yamato or whatever. Yeah, sure. Like I'll do a first gen spaceship, <laughs> like a, a FTL, a first gen FTL ship. That's a, that, that's where I'm going. Okay. Be. <laughs> All right. Me? No, you're not going to get me in outer space. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm like Jean-Luc Picard's brother, Rene. You're just going to sit there I'm and just fucking be in France, tend, tend your vineyard. Tend to my vineyard. And be killed off screen. <laughs> killed off screen right before uh, first contact. <laughs> Rene and his, and his nephew. No, it was Generations. Was it? Oh, it was Generations. Yeah, it was Generations. Yeah, yeah. off screen in Generations. Yeah, People they are. were super pissed about that. What was, was it Rene was the brother or the, the nephew? It was I his brother. Know. Okay. I don't remember what his nephew's his name brother. was. Uh, his uh, Jean. Wasn't it Jean? I, I, don't, was, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was pretty. That, that seemed pretty chintzy to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be like, all right, you go ahead. Don't take the job bringing new Atlantis to the surface. <laughs> God, why do I remember that of all fucking shit to remember? No, I'm never going to outer space. No, that movie was like, it was great until the scene where it's like, I'm, I'll just say spoilers. When George Clooney's like holding on to the rope, and he's like, nope, you just got to let me go. I'm like. That's not the way physics works. <laughs> just tug him a little bit. And yeah, he's fine. As I, like, <laughs> that was like the part where I, I kind of got really upset by it because I was just like, this movie had me. Like, I saw a couple things where I was just like, this is not how it would work, but I'll give it just because I don't know everything that's going on right now. But at that point, I was just like, nope. 
he's stationary. If he let go, he would just float there <laughs> because that's the way physics works. No, no, he was getting pulled away. But because there's no gravity, she could have just tugged pulled, back and, pulled, and he'd have yeah, been fine. He would have been. That's yeah. it. If she did let go, he would have gone flying like that. I don't, I don't even think he so. Was, he was being pulled back. I don't. I don't even think he. Was actually, being, you know what? No, he would have stopped because she caught the rope. rope. Yeah, exactly. As soon as she caught the rope, he would have stopped. He would have stopped. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Is like there was the second law of physics: an object at rest will remain in rest unless the force well, is active. Also, there's it. no. Fu- there's like literally nothing in space. So like a lot of the shit they 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 do that like where they put effort behind it would be unnecessary. Well, yeah. Uh, it's I, like you just go like poke. But I mean, like I'm okay with that. Like that's part. I'm like fine, whatever. But that part in particular, I'm like they could have found a better way of doing that scene. I don't yeah, know. Speaking of space, you really need to play Alien Isolation. I, I will. I mean, it's it was really good. I, you, and do it with headphones. Okay, I guess. Just do do it with the headphones. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> as long as you have decent headphones. If you have shitty headphones, and what don't about bother. these? I don't know. Get those? Do those have surround? Okay. Then That's, yes. I, I can hear what Nikki's doing right now with these. No, no, no. Surround, like, like. Directional. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they directional? Yeah, yeah. Then that's that's good. But, it's a, but I mean, that's how good of the microphone they are. Is like I can hear Nikki right there on these mics, getting picked up by the mics. No, that's not what I mean. No, but I mean, I know what you're saying. But I'm oh. saying that's how good these mics are oh, and the these headphones, headphones are because okay. I can hear. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Then use them. <laughs> Jackass. All right, so let's 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 shit in your let's put case. a pin on this. The first podcast of 2015. Our, um, I think this is our, maybe it's this one or the next one. This is our, our, our three year, like this, this uh, we've been doing this podcast for three for years. Way too long. Way too long. And you know what? We've never missed an episode. We've had a couple episodes, <laughs> um, get lost. We've had, a. Uh, you know, Pat B and Play On, they've missed a bunch of episodes and they're all like, we've never missed an episode. I'm like, yeah, you went like two or three weeks in between, but that's okay. That's fine. You could do that. Wouldn't say we were missing it, Bob. No, no, no. We 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 are on top of it. So if you like shitty gaming news and two guys talking about outer space and disagreeing on everything, everything this is the podcast for you. That's right. We have literally. I think the only thing we agree upon is the Lord of the Rings. The War of the Rings? No, no, like Lord of the Rings in general. Oh, I love Lord of the Rings. Yes, yeah. like I think that's uh-huh. it. Yeah, yeah. I think that. Oh, and Star Trek. And Star Trek. Yeah. So we got that. Uh-huh. Other than that, I'm pretty sure we are diametrically yeah, but, opposed on everything. Yeah, but you don't like the, uh, TOS. No, I, no, no. no. I haven't seen enough of the TOS. Yeah, I could get. I could give you literally a list of the episodes. I'm gonna you have watch, to watch it. I'm just gonna watch the whole fucking thing. Yeah, but I'm gonna. Fin- I'm gonna. I'm actually going to finish. Um, Voy or not Voyager. Uh, Ugh. I am gonna watch Voyager. Ugh. I fuck it. Yeah, you know what? I, the thing I, after watching like six episodes of Voyager, I was like, the thing I thought to myself, I was like, this is way better than I remember. So, oh no, I'm, uh, Voyager's terrible. I'm pretty excited about Voy- that. Voyager starts to and hurt then, when you get to the later seasons. And then Enterprise, and then when I finish Enterprise, then I'm gonna watch original. Enterprise series. is better than I remembered it. I'm gonna watch the original series at the as the very last thing. Yeah. Space. So that'll be frontier. that'll be fun. I I, I remember the These few episodes. The, the Horta. That was that was one of the. Best. That's Devil in the Dark, sir. <laughs> That's a great episode. That's. A, what does he say? Uh, no hurt eye. <laughs> and then uh, probably watch the animated series too. After the animated series is way better than you remember it, mainly because it's a half hour long Star Trek, and you're like, oh, thank God, these things are over quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the original series should have been. If they could cut down the original series to half hour chunks, fucking fantastic. But hour long, no, <laughs> no, I don't want to watch an hour long title play from the 1960s. I don't need to do that. There's a couple good ones. Are you sure you don't? Yeah. Like the one where where they're where, where they're doing the submarine movie. What about Evil Lincoln? You know, Evil Lincoln. Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln was good. I know. Evil uh, Lincoln's a Futurama reference. Oh yes, it's from, from the episode the reference the Star, Star Trek. Trek yeah. It busts out as Genghis Khan, Hitler, <laughs> and Evil Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they bring back Surak. All right. So uh, go to planetarbitrary.com for your planet arbitrary needs. You can follow me on Twitter at planet arbitrary. You could follow Steve at at game classy. Like our Facebook page backslash game classy. Where we talk about dicks and butts and dollar reviews. And I mostly post a pretty sweet web, web comics. <laughs> Steve likes to post web Is comics. this cooking? <laughs> that fucking made me laugh so hard. <laughs> uh, you could find us on Podbean. You could find us on iTunes at, at, and at Game Classy Podcast, all one word. You could like, comment, subscribe there. It's the best way to help out the podcast. Put a comment up on the iTunes page. Make sure you give us a one star and tell us how shitty we are. Five star, tell us how shitty we are. It's okay on that level. <laughs> These guys are terrible when it comes to gaming news. It's so vulgar. It's so vulgar. Uh, <laughs> we need more one stars. <laughs> no, no more one stars, please. And then uh, you could also go to YouTube's, the Yudtubs. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out why a couple of our episodes have like way over 100 views. 
I don't. I don't randomly. I mean, the Barbarossa one made sense because that was the landing page. Yeah. So if anyone clicked on YouTube, that's where they would go. So that one at least made sense because yeah, that one get, would load up. But the other ones sometimes it's just weird like that. I you know some of our some of the episodes of the podcast like we get we get you need, you need to make more thumbnails with boobs on them. I guess uh, anime boobs. That's just what's gonna be from now. Alternate. On. Do, a, do real boobs, anime boobs, real boobs, anime boobs. Because then that way you'll get the college frat perverts clicking on the real boobs, and you'll get the uh, neat uh, internet people clicking on the college frat boobs. In, uh, the anime boobs. All right. Okay. Maybe maybe that might be the case. I'll have to find something. Maybe I'll find some Lord of the Rings boobs. Is that a thing? I don't know. Probably. Bomber? No. Bomber's boobs. <laughs> Bomber's boobs? <laughs> Bomber's boobs.com? I mean, there were three women in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, in the, the Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, so. in the films. Yeah. Not in the books. <laughs> not in the books. No, there's no girls in the books. Uh, Tol- Arwen, Tolkien was... Arwen's in the book. Yeah, but she's not even in nope. the book. She's, she's she's mentioned, and she has like, I think she has like three lines of dialogue. Yeah, exactly. It's like, actually, Hello. Actually, to the back. Eowyn. Eowyn is very important in yeah, the Yeah, I'll give you Eowyn, but she's she's manly. But she, she's still very important. No, she's super beautiful. I am she, no... She disguises it with her helmet. I am no dude. Uh, I am no bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah, okay, so we'll give you Eowyn. We, we, yeah, have to, we have to relent. Eowyn is a legit, important character and does a lot in the books. Yeah, she's not like exposition like Galadriel, or she's not, right. you know, like, she's, I'm Arwen. Yes. Arwen is essentially the Denise Richards of the Lord of the Rings yeah. but, universe. But Arwen's yeah. actually awesome in the movies. And like she the character yeah. she replaced Celebron, which uh yeah. you know, which is like yeah, I mean Celebron's an important character, but like he's I not thought, a, I thought she replaced uh, Gold uh whatever his name was. The I thought his name was Gold Gold, Gold, Gold something with the G. Glorfindel? Yeah, Glorfindel. No, uh, Celebron is the one who comes and saves uh uh, Frodo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, whatever. I think, it doesn't really matter in the long know. run. I don't know. I we're not, was, you're not talking to Stephen Colbert here. If we were talking to Stephen Colbert, <laughs> he'd be fucking all over yeah, this shit. I thought it was Calibron, but whatever. She replaced an elf character who's not even in the movies. Uh, but like, it yeah. actually totally worked. And it actually makes more sense because Tolkien was a big fan of introducing a new character yeah. rather than using an established character to finish a lot of things. Oh, yeah. So like, it was better. It's, it's better. It makes more like story sense to just be like, oh, yeah, it's Arwen. She's, you know, following Aragorn. Well, because I mean, it, it made her more than just like, you know, like, right, it improved, hi, I'm going to be a space it Im- pilot. It improved, it improved Arwen's character and it improved the the overall storyline of the whole thing. Yeah. And you know what? No fucking Tom Bombadil. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> some people liked Tom Bombadil. Yep. Yeah. Well, some people like putting shards of glass in their anus. Not for me. Yeah. Uh... Some people like butt action. <laughs> <clears throat> It says here that it was Glorfindel in the books. Glorfindel? Okay. Yeah. I, whatever. I just proved you right. I proved me wrong. Wait, damn it. What? <laughs> I can't. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, Steve, un- until next week. Oh, I'm sending out the uh, the prizes this weekend. I thought you were sending it out this week. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, I was again, this comes back to the whole not seeing The Hobbit because it was fucking sick. So I did nothing. I stayed home. There were some sweet scenes in The Hobbit movie. That I'm are fucking like, excited. That were I'm just like, this, see you soon. this wasn't in the book <laughs> at all. <laughs> this, this is. That book is like 10 pages long. <laughs> Can you can you mail me your copies of the Lord of the Ring trilogy? No, click Amazon just sent it to you for three dollars cheaper. God damn it! All right, bye guys. Game classy.